outside of Missoula, Montana, get my inner cowgirl on. These are some of the stars of the world, the rodeo and Wild West. I'll introduce you to them. The ladies in the sport coming up on CBS This Morning. Yahoo! Get on up here! <laughs> Good morning. Well, women first started competing in rodeos in 1903 in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and became crowd favorites until 1929, when the death of bronc rider Bonnie McCarroll at the Pendleton Roundup prompted promoters to curtail women's participation. Nowadays, women have their own rodeo association, but being a cowgirl is more than competing in games. It's an entire way of life. In almost every epic tale of the Wild West, men have been center stage, women almost invisible. All of the photographs I've ever seen have been of men. Well, that's only 50% of it. Where'd they think the men came from? You know, it wasn't the Immaculate Conception. <laughs> Women were a strong force on the ranch and the range, from Annie Oakley to Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. And they still are today. There you go. Women like rancher Barbara Van Cleve, who's been photographing the cowgirl way of life since she was 11 years old. You shoot everything on top of a horse? I'm so short that it helps to get a little elevation. <laughs> She recently joined a group of women on a good old-fashioned cattle drive at the Paws Up Resort outside of Missoula, Montana. I went over after a cow and a calf, and I thought I had her. It was all part of Cowgirl U, a weekend-long annual event for women hosted by the National Cowgirl Hall of Fame, a museum dedicated to celebrating the spirit of women in the West. We've had women who are interested in history, um, but primarily our biggest draw is those folks who want to know about the honorees. This, this is the best teaching you will get is right here. Just hop up there. He's not going to move. Guests come to meet honorees like five-time world champion bronc rider Jan Uren. Throw your chest at him and tuck your chin. There you go. Am I doing it? Yeah, you rolling. Whoa! <laughs> Uren rode bulls and horses from age 12 until she retired at 63, along the way collecting an impressive record of injuries. How many broken bones do you have? Uh, would you rather ask how many I don't have? That'd be a lot better. I have one rib that's never been broke, and I've never broke either leg. Other than that, I think you can pretty well cover it. You won a championship with a broken back? Yeah, I did in 87. But I was too dumb. I didn't know it was broke. I thought I was just being a wimp. Up, up, up. Shoot her. Lindy Birch like knows her way around a shotgun, but made her name in the male-dominated sport of cutting horses, where a rider uses a horse to separate a cow from the herd. It's a critical skill for any rancher bringing cattle to market. When I start cutting, I wanted to be the best. And if you wanted to be the best, you compete with the best. And the best all happened to be men because there wasn't any women in it. You weren't striving to break down or to break through the glass ceiling. No, women's lib wasn't a big deal then anyway. <laughs> Probably was. I didn't really recognize it because I always thought you liberated yourself. In 1980, Birch became the first woman in the 100-year history of the sport to win the National Cutting Horse Championship. If you work hard and you're good, you can gain anybody's respect. So are we going to shoot? Yep, we're okay. going to shoot. A critical tool for women in the Old West was a gun. It was a way to protect herself, her herd, and most important, her family. Pull! 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 I felt like I was getting my little Annie Oakley on there. <laughs> but you were very enthusiastic about the pull part. Pull! Shoot him. Yeah! <laughs> That's how it's done. I think being a cowgirl is you, you keep trying and you don't give up, no matter what you're doing. It's hard to make a living ranching. The hours are long, the work is hard. But it's the greatest place in the world to raise a family. You can be a cowgirl. I, I can. I think maybe they ought to make you an honorary member. For <laughs> well, the real members of the Cowgirl Hall of Fame include over 200 extraordinary women honored since 1975. And did you notice there was one thing missing? What? Yeah. Oh. Nice. I did not nice. have a hat. 
Lots now I do. I'm finished. But That's Michelle, awesome. I was wondering, at one point you said to the horse, uh, get on up here. Did the horse understand that <laughs> command? <laughs> I'd never heard that before. Get on up here. <laughs> I like the cowgirl who said, though, if you work hard and you're good, you can get, you can earn anyone's respect. Uh, that's so true great, in all things. Uh, true in all things. Great all piece. Things. Nice. Thank Love you. Love me cowgirls. Great. All right. <laughs> Up next, most unforgettable moments 